do my eyes deceive me? Or is that my Malishka walking this way? <laughs> What's the problem, traveler? Or, well, I suppose it doesn't suit you to be called that now. Being that you are my equal, the twelfth harbinger. Though I suppose with the ranks that we've lost, it's a little bit unsettling to continue the numbers, but I suppose it's less unsettling than replacing the previous one, right? Hey, you should probably hold still. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not a fight this time. Just reunions, sweet kiss. <laughs> what a convenient wall that we find ourselves against with you and your back to it. And that sexy little expression on your face. I love it. <laughs> that new garb you're wearing, it truly does suit you. I simply can't get enough. A feast for the eyes would not even come close to describing it. In fact, it's more likely to say what I'm looking at is my future. I did say I would take you as more than just a colleague, and I never was shy about saying that I have feelings for you, attraction for you, and I would like to start that little thing called love. I know it's unsuitable, but you're the only one who can match me in battle. I've fallen in love with you. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> Who better to start a life of adventure, a life of facing ever greater opponents than the love at my side, who's also an equal, one who deserves my attention. <laughs> but that's all too serious for today. Today was meant to be a date, nothing more and nothing less. <laughs> I know I said fancy meeting you here and all, but what's that? You have something to say? Then spit it out, Malishka. Ah, yes. Calling me out for that is fair. I admit my sources were spying, but could you blame me? It's both my duty as the 11th Harbinger, as well as my duty as your future lover that I simply needed to keep an eye on you. Imagine, you got overwhelmed by a few of the other jealous Harbingers at once. Not that I think that they could take you, but to miss out on such a battle, it would be a crime against my very existence. <laughs> Don't you think it would be more fun together? As with dates and <laughs> facades, as some might put it, there always comes a meaning behind every single word. And the meaning of which I've chosen is a pretty simple one. I simply wanted more of you. It was an action of greed. Do you find it strange? <laughs> Your expression tells a different story, doesn't it? Why don't you be more honest with me, Malishka? Trust me. I won't be disappointed no matter what you choose to show me. All of your sides are equally gorgeous in my eyes. Alluring, attractive, you can pick the descriptive word. But pretty words don't often lead to much. Though I think, in your case, I could make a bit of an exception. <laughs> You're very, very, very wild today, aren't you? I know, it's a lot of varies for me to use, but even still, you've got this feistiness about you that's even more attractive than usual. What's been happening? Oh, so that's it. You've been on a secretive mission. Of course, my spies, I didn't want them to be too intrusive. So all I told them is to tell me if they found out if you were fighting or being tailed by someone. And of course, I've gotten some glorious displays of what you've done. Of course, the Saritza's will was difficult to uphold this time. But for now, 
We have to hunt down Skaramush. It brings me no great joy to hunt down a previous comrade. But you, comrade, are much more <laughs> personable as well as cute than our late and soon to be captured ex-associate. Though I guess co-worker would work as well, though the Harbingers are not built the same. We each have our different roles to perform. It's just being as obsessed with battle as I am. I can't see this through on my own, and I thought it might be just a wonderful date, or an excuse thereof, that we might be able to chase him together. Isn't it interesting? Your eyes glisten every time there's a new mission where we get to work together. If I didn't know any better, comrade, I'd say that there's something of a connection between us. As for that connection, I suppose only time will tell, right? That time really depends on if you want it to be now or later. <sighs> the fresh air, an air we can breathe in together. Though I think part of me wants to see what you look when you're gasping for air instead of when you're calmly breathing it like this. <laughs> Come, you don't think I'm that bad, do you, comrade? I'm not going to fight you. Plus, we both know how that goes. It's a draw, no matter how you look at it. Though at this point, since I've grown stronger, I do have the inkling and itch to try and test my might. The only difference is, this time, I'm not so sure we need to search for a fight with each other. Instead, we need only look in front of us. See that? That is residue from the electronosis. This is different. There's a distinct plot going on here, and I suspect another harbinger has betrayed us. I'll elaborate as we move. You see, the residue is different. I have eyes that came from the abyss. I can judge the difference as subtle as they may be, as most, probably not even you, can tell the difference. Someone, or someones, are trying to set up Scaramouche worse than he is. Which makes me question, there might be a deeper plot of sinister intent. All the while, comrade, I think that we're best set up to work as a team as I know I can trust you. Why? Why, of course. It's obvious, isn't it? Liska, do you think I would trust you simply because of who you are? No. It was never so given as that. In fact, my trust was earned when we fought, and you could have killed me. If you had been working under any sinister intent, and had any skills at lying? <laughs> if you had any of those, then I might not trust you right now. But as it stands, I'm afraid I have to be the bearer of bad news. You suck at lying. You wear your emotions on your face, and I love that about you. Even if they normally say on the sleeve, I think on your face fits you more in this case. Because... <laughs> You couldn't hide a single thing, even if your life depended on it, as you've displayed before. You're a very honest and cute individual. But that cuteness is perplexingly contrasted by that immeasurable strength. Both sexy qualities, and I'll give you 10 out of 10 for both of them. Scoring you attractive points left and right, to the extent that when I look at you, <laughs> it's hard not to ask you to marry me on the spot. <laughs> Don't be too surprised. I did tell you this from the very start. There has been no secrets between us, as there'd be no point to that. The one that I plan to marry in the future, what reason would I have to break something so precious as trust? 
Once more, even if I did, there would be a good reason, and I hope that you could trust me. There is so much we share, not just in common, but now that we're both Harbingers, it feels like we skipped a few stages of the story, the play playing out as it does. Then again, you passed all those tests so easily because you're as strong as me. There's no question about it. You're talented. But your talent does not eclipse how kind you are. You honestly care about people, and that's why I trusted you most of all. Even the Saritza's own words, I find myself sometimes at odds with. But you, you're different. Comrade, you're built completely different. Uh, nice and perfectly built, but don't worry about my simping. That's just a cause and effect. The rest of it? Oh, I want to tell this story through action. And so today, like I said before, is just a date, a reunion of sorts. Consider it our first step in establishing that relationship that you no doubt want as well, correct? Stop me if I'm wrong, but you've got the hots for me, don't you? <laughs> You're cute when you have your back against the wall. Not for the reasons you might be thinking. In fact, it's that strength you have even when your back is against the wall that intrigues me. It makes me feel things I didn't know I could. It makes me feel almost normal again. You know, before all of this, I was just a guy living with his family. Of course, talent betrays no one. It is as constant and as bountiful a feeling as is life itself. You cannot have talent and just leave it be. Talent is something that matters a great deal to everyone, not just some. Even as I speak, but I've spoken for too long. Why don't you tell me exactly why you are here? <laughs> is it just a mission? Or were you hoping to find me? <laughs> you can't hide your intentions that well. Even if you'd like to. But even then, I don't mind. It suits you. This alluring side never seems to know what's coming next, but always finds a way around it. <laughs> I'm not calling you oblivious, not even slightly. In fact, if I were to say it, it's that you have a quality about you. A quality that allows you to see what other people miss. It's perceptiveness in a different tone. <laughs> like the sweet sound of a harp. That's what it feels like whenever you speak, or the jarring wonders of a daring guitar strings. It's this apex and contrast and all these details that make me want to grab your hand. Will you take this hand that invites you on this date? <laughs> Trust me, you don't have to. I would never be so uncouth as to shove an opportunity onto you, unless I believed it was something you'd want to do and genuinely enjoy. Plus, the city, it has sights to see, many of options of entertainment, food and drink, as well as a place to rest your head. Of course, I prefer dates to be more interactive, which is why I thought chasing this trail might be the most romantic way. Perhaps we get to beat some baddies on the way, too. It still baffles me to this day how you thought the Fatui were the bad guys. No. Just misunderstood. You and I now share the same perspective. You know why the Saritza does what she needs to. You know why we face the gods. This is no secret, as I'm sure you know yourself. The gods 
have fallen from grace. But getting into that, I feel, would ruin the mood. How about it? Will you take this hand outstretched to you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> I was hoping you'd do that. It suits you, you know. Holding your hand is a perfect fit for mine. <laughs> Don't mind the gloves, it's just for the cold, but I think I would remove this one for you. Just to feel the warmth of your hand against mine, consider it the first intimate gesture, aside from the other intimate gestures that I've no doubt perplexed you with. <laughs> Comrade, don't be that way. <laughs> I wasn't trying to get on your bad side. <laughs> Much to the contrary. I would like to be on your good side, though I think your good side might be every side. I haven't found a single lacking one since I've met you. And peering around like this, that new outfit truly does suit you. <laughs> You'd almost think you were born a Fatui. But even then, it doesn't matter. You're more than your identity, as either the legendary comrade in arms or the Fatui Harbinger. I've never just seen you as that, or I would have never given you the chance way back when. I would have simply went my own way, done what the book, the rules, and everything in between would have me. You broke those rules in so many ways. It always interested me. What do you really think of this world? You are such a oddity, aren't you? You've been around it. You're so incredibly strong, you'd make my teacher blush at the notion of being able to fight you. And even still, you keep that softness of heart. You remind me of myself. I could never do things that went against what I believe in. <laughs> you could tell too, couldn't you? Even back then, I regretted it. The things I've done sometimes seem counterintuitive, but I had to. For the greater good. But not just the greater good, no. There are sacrifices that need to be made in this world. Ones that nobody wishes to. Again, I'm ruining the mood of the date, aren't I? It's because I'm nervous. This is my first date, after all. If I'm being completely honest with you, I've never had someone that I was interested in. The prospects of romance was only secondhand compared to my love of fighting of growing stronger and stronger. Excuse me. Pardon for a moment, Malishka. I assure you, it's nothing. Just... Just a casual... cold or something. Everyone has their off days, right? Just believe me, if I was truly suffering, then I would tell you, at least to my own knowledge, this is only a flesh wound, something from a previous battle. You see, I've had a few run-ins with Scaramouche, and not to exaggerate, but he might just be stronger than me. That's not why I'm relying upon your own strength, but rather because I missed you. As much as the mission matters to me, I am a man before I'm a harbinger. And I can't simply overlook the fact that you seemed lonely. And perhaps I'm projecting my own loneliness upon you. Maybe you weren't lonely and I'm just a nuisance? No. That's wonderful news, then. I almost lost heart. My confidence may seem unbreaking, but even I sometimes lose myself to the doubts of 
if anybody really wants me here. Of course, my family keeps me going, and I could never leave my little siblings behind. I need to protect them. The world is not so favorable that they can freely go out. They can freely live their lives, and that bothers me. Me being a harbinger is just an end to a means. But I want to learn to do more with my life. I want to learn what it's like to fall in love, to truly learn those facets of what it means to be normal, those little things that people take for granted, especially those who've never known a fight as bloody or as deep as mine. You see, I've met a few people along the way, and some of them... More brutal than others, and you. I feel like I can be human. Normal, if you will. With you. And that comforting feeling of normalcy that I've never felt anywhere else, it's refreshing. Like ice-cold water on a hot day. Or warm soup on a chilly one. You've given me... More than you probably will ever know. And even then, I'm proud to say you've made a big change in my life. A shift in paradigms. This hand-holding, already, it makes my heart beat faster. Would you like to feel? Please be my guest. There's no reason for you to hesitate, even in the slightest. When we are together, consider it a special time. A time in which you should experience all those things, too. I had heard you've never so much as interacted with someone. In the idea of romance, that is. Trust me, it brings me joy. No shortage of joy at that. That we both are lacking so evidently. Am I to assume this is your first date? <laughs> Wonderful. It makes me feel less bad for the lacking of knowledge of things to do or say. They're bundled up in my head, but when I try and take it to the air, I... I choke. A feeling that is quite foreign to me. The more I think about it, the more I realize that we're the same, you and I. <laughs> it's... That warm and fuzzy feeling, isn't it? Could this be love? I know what it's like to care about someone. I do. And I know what it's like to love to a certain extent. I think every being that lives knows to love, at least somewhat. But with you, it's different, comrade. No, Mulishka. Yeah really do make me feel. You should take pride in that. Man who has known no love. A feeling that is new and exciting. Sorry. Sometimes my brain doesn't know what to say or think, and if it seems as though I'm nervous, it's just a happenstance of I've never done anything like this. You are different, much different than anyone else I would have ever been able to interact with. And despite what others may tell you about me, I'm anything but a player. I've never thought of the concept of romance and any advances I've received in the past. I could see through them. Their intention was as obvious as their advances. It was difficult in its own way, in that I don't like to break people's hearts, but with you, I, I fear more for my own heart. As you seem to have this confidence about you, even through that slight fluster, I can tell the way your heartbeat rises isn't quite as much as mine, and if I'm being honest with you, I think I've lost my appetite with the nervousness of being this close to you. 
If I'm honest, my mind has drifted elsewhere. <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> I couldn't help it. You don't mind, do you? I want to confirm and apologize just in case. You do like me, don't you? You would be honest if you didn't. Wouldn't you? Trust me. As a Fatui and as a proud Snezhnayan man, I could take the rejection. I would have to accept it. And then we could be f friends, right? I'm terrible at hiding my disappointment. You might be right. The thought of it made my heart sink, and I can't believe how shaky I've become. Trust me, I, I, I obviously have the composure, it's just... <laughs> Tackling me to this chair. To think you would be so bold. Perhaps it is as I first thought. Love is just fighting in a different way. But I fear I may not be your match. <laughs> not yet, at least. But I'm learning. Learning from every move. You best cherish your confidence and position of advantageous assault <laughs> while you can. Because I'm mounting quite the startling defense. And you best... <laughs> you little cheater, I see. Attacking when my guard was down. You're more dangerous than I... <laughs> Why, you little... To think I was going to use work as an excuse... I'm afraid I'm a failure as a harbinger at this point. <laughs> Though I suppose if I have to go down in flames, this is a truly wondrous way to do so. <sighs> you have my words, half lost, midway. And here I am, with blank mind, and body that feels a fire. <laughs> Every kiss more dangerous than the last. And even then, I can't think of a single word to retort that wondrous advancement of our relationship. Shall I formally refer to you as my lover? Or is it too simple too early? <laughs> I think I'd like to take it slow between us, at least partially. Not that I'm lacking in the resolve to go further. <laughs> and by looks of things, you can hardly hold yourself back. Luckily, the feeling is mutual. And comrade, I can't hold myself back forever. You see, just as your desires are to smush yourself against me, I, too, have the desire to smush my body, burning hot as it is, against yours. So, I'll apologize in advance, Lishka. I'll be taking you. <laughs> in every way imaginable of that word. And I won't stop until, well, you get tired of me. You did say you wanted me. And I want you, too. So I see no reason to hesitate. And forthright, I'll show you everything I have to give. Let this battle begin. Because I have no intention of losing, no intention of giving up, and especially no intention of leaving you unsatisfied. Comrade. Let me take you 
as you take me. Devour me as I devour you. Make the sweetest tones and scents and feelings of love. Bubble to the surface like hot lava. Fall down like snow. I want to send chills just to you. It was only ever you, Manishka. Let's see how far we can fall down this pit of depravity. You'd think we fell down the abyss by how we're acting. You, your weight on mine. <laughs> Me pinned against this chair. What could you have in mind with those taunting eyes? Perhaps another kiss. Perhaps more. I guess only time and action will tell, won't it? Good. <laughs> you know, the more I think of it, Manishka, you're really quite impressive. You've managed to get me so infatuated with you. And yet, all of these troubles we face, they don't feel like troubles. More like exciting challenges to meet. Don't you think? <laughs> Such an eloquent answer, especially considering the position you're in. <laughs> Did I mean it like that? I wonder. You would have to peer into the mind of a true warrior to know that. But right now, that warrior has all eyes on you. And what happens next, I wonder? Do you give or take what you've wanted from the start? I suppose it's always been give or take, hasn't it? <laughs> but that's actually the difficult part. You've always had this lead on this situation. Frankly, it's intimidating to me how accustomed to touch you are. But at the same time, it gives me hope that I may someday match you. And that someday might be today. <laughs> Brace yourself, comrade. I intend to take every inch you give. And of course, take a mile from it. Every kiss you give. I'll take ten. Every touch you make, I'll take twenty. And every time you look at me just like that, good. I'll just have to take something more drastic. <laughs> this love of ours is absolutely a war. I hope your understanding of at least that fact. <laughs> Manishka? <laughs> you know how to make my voice shake quite so easily, which no warrior previously stated could ever hope to achieve. No one could push me so far, but you, you always push me to new depths, new interests, and newfound... Feelings. <laughs> hey, you should hold still. <laughs> Though I know you'll never take that advice, truth be told. I know that you want to win this battle just as much as I. <laughs> <sighs> and I don't mind that. Whether I lose or win, which of course I'll win, I still will love you. I still will want you, and... Damn. You've got me there. <laughs> Just relax, Meliska. Or maybe I'm the one who has to relax. <laughs> Meliska? <laughs> uh, mm. 
I couldn't think of a better treatment than to truly test our skills one on the other. Just as dexterity for battle is important, so is endurance, and I think I've gotten you beat. <laughs> Have no fear, Melishka. <laughs> this is only the interlude, the beginning of something much more wild, much more amazing, and I refuse to let you have your way with me quite yet. <laughs> it's not that simple. As much as you'd like it to be, I'd very much like you to try and endure like I am for you, and... <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, oh God, that's my baby. Come on, is that all you've got, Melishka? Of course it isn't. <laughs> Shall we make things more difficult? Raise the stakes for both of us? <laughs> oh, I do have a means. Of course, it's one you might consider a bit dirty. But if I look into your eyes, and I make you look into mine, <laughs> you have only two options, to concede or match my gaze. And if you do the latter, it's going to be that much more wild. I want you to feel it. But in order to feel it, I need you to be right here. I need you to feel as much as me, which I fully intend to make sure happens. <laughs> Come now, Malishka. Have I ever let you down in a situation so dire? <laughs> of course not. I wouldn't dream of it, all things considered. I will make you feel. I will make you feel the love, and I, I will make you feel as much as I can without losing face. <laughs> God. Now look me in the eyes if you're not scared. Yes. Just like that. <laughs> I'd be a liar if I said it wasn't intimidating or difficult even for a seasoned warrior such as myself. I... I'm a bit intimidated. <laughs> you really live up to that expectation. Both the intimidation and the exquisite love. <sighs> and of course, that fiery passions always end up on top. You really do suit the twelfth seat. <laughs> to think you would have such a side to you. <laughs> That's it, Malishka. Just relax and feel. Well, not breaking eye contact. I want you to feel, and I want to feel with you, yes, just like that, oh, <laughs> looking into your eyes and never breaking that contact, it has a sort of romance to it, doesn't it, <laughs> and even now, as this is anything, <sighs> A wild card, if you will. <laughs> I can't help but look you in the eyes and see. The most gorgeous, most wonderful, most attractive in the world to me. <laughs> I hope you're well aware, but I don't just say things like that casually. I could never. But for you, <laughs> for you, 
This is different. This is completely new and exciting for me. Looking you in the eyes may have been the wrong choice, as I feel that much more intimidated, that much more uh, free to express myself, but also turned on. Uh, oh, yes, that's it, baby. That's it. Take all of me, everything. I leave it to you. <laughs> Just being one with you is a dream come true, let alone the rest of it. <sighs> That's it, Malishka. Just like that. <laughs> Just relax. Well, that might be easier said than done. Especially with how you look right now. With how you look. I'd say you need all the encouragement you can get. What's the matter, Lishka? <laughs> Is this just a warm-up? Or are you fatigued already? <laughs> That's my Malishka. That's my Malishka. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Pretty impressive, you know that. That you were able to push me to my limits just like that. <laughs> and to think, at the start, I didn't think you were nearly ready enough. But right now, I can feel it. Every little bit of your readiness. And it excites me, if I'm honest. It excites me to no end. And that makes me so intrigued to see how far I can push you. <laughs> That's it, Malishka. That's it. <laughs> Never lose that sparkle in your eye. Never try and face a Fatui Harbinger without more preparation. But most of all, never claim Anyone else is your man. <laughs> That's right, Lanishka. There's only a spot for me here. Can't you see? <laughs> Good.